All right, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere Akims, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bed, just a, another lesson on just fearing the Lord. Just want to always keep that energy flowing. Keep that spirit flowing. The fear of the Lord, you know? So we're going to hop right into it. Like I said before, through the spirit of your hell, at least um, two to three times a week, I, I want to push the fear of the Lord. Because that's the beginning of knowledge. We'll get that first. We'll just get that first. And we'll roll along. This is Proverbs 1. Because the fear of the Lord, the fear of who you equally call God and Jesus Christ, is coming back to the earth. I mean, in so much of a powerful way, it's going to be like out of this world, man. The fear, the fear that the Lord is getting ready to put on you people, man. Ah, oh, man. You're going to be happy to worship the creator of the heavens and the earth, man. That's the first thing you're going to think about every day you wake up. You know? Our people don't really think about it now. You need. But, but in that day, the Lord's going to put so much fear in you. That's the first thing you're going to think about every morning, every time you open your eyes. Every time you're able to wake up and walk, talk, see, hear, smell, <laughs> you're going to fear the Lord because he can take it all away, man. But let's get this done without further ado. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, the fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, is the beginning of knowledge. Once again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, Israel. Which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But but fools, blockheads, meatballs, jackasses, but fools, which is the majority of the people on the face of the earth, mainly you Israelites, two-thirds, despise wisdom and instruction. Through, man. Through. I want to get a definition for fear too. Bear with me. Get a definition for fear right quick. Bear with me. Because it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Let's get it right here. Nothing's rehearsed. So just bear with me. Nothing's rehearsed. Let's play it. Fear. Fear, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, man. That someone or something is dangerous. That's why you fear the God of the Bible. You see, it's an emotion that you get when you fear you have a Bashim Yahushua. It's certain things that you dare not to do. Especially if you know this truth, you know the angels are watching everything. And you want to do the things that are pleasing to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? So, so the first way to please the Lord, and the scriptures back me up on that, is the fear. That's the first step of being accepted by the God of the Bible. It says the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. Look, 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 look terror. Remember, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Look, horror. You see? And you keep reading on in, into that, but I'm, I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna get I'm gonna give some more scriptures. Fear, I'm gonna keep that definition on deck though. Keep that definition on deck. The fear. You know, you know this entity can cause harm to you, man. Harm or either pain. Let's get this again. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's why the majority of our people are not taking heed. The Lord don't want them to take heed first and foremost, but they don't fear the God of the Bible. Let's, let's see if I can find that. That one about um fearing the Lord. Uh, let's see, first step. First step. See if we can find that right quick. 
The pastor teach our people everything up under the sun, but has never taught them to fear the Lord. So, see, see, listen to this right here. I'm going to click on it. This is Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach and the Apocrypha. The fear of the Lord. Because this is the, this is what this lesson is all about. The fear of the Lord. Every time you go to church, that pastor is talking about the uh, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. No, fear of the Lord. I never once heard a pastor say, fear the Lord. Never. Not once in all my years. Not once. Not once. My first time hearing this truth, the apostles, they was pushing the fear of the Lord. That's one of the first um, subjects that I heard. Fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And, and that's constantly being repeated each and every day. Sirach chapter 19, verse 18, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, is the first step to be accepted of him. You want to please the Lord? You want to know what pleases the Lord? You fearing him. Us fearing him, right? And, and look, we'll, we'll go back to the definition for fear. Just in case you forgot. Because our people mind so bugged the hell out. They forget stuff just like that. Just like that. It, it's, it's gone. And one, one ear and out the other. Fear. Let's play it. Fear. Fear. An unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous. That's your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Now, now something's got to be completely wrong with your membrane. You know, everything that's inside of it. For you not to fear the creator of the heavens and the earth. Once again, the Lord always had me go through this example. Do you do you not see how big the earth is? You you not see that? The earth is one of the smaller planets. You mean to tell me you so gone in the head that you don't fear power that created the earth? You do, as a matter of fact, you don't fear the power that created you. The power that created you. You you don't fear that man? All right, all right. Well, well, it's, it's going to come a day when you will. You will, man. It, it's going to say every knee is going to bow. It's a day coming where everything is going to fear. Say, say the, the earth, when, when Lord Yahweh Shai come, the creator of the earth come into this realm, everything is going to fear the water, the air, the earth, the trees, the birds, the animals. But oh, yeah, some flesh say, oh, nah, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. I ain't got to fear the Lord. That's what our people say. The, through. The scriptures say, so being returned, seek of ten times. It was our mind to go astray. Matter of fact, let's get that right quick. The Lord said it was our mind to go astray. Now being returned, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, gave us his knowledge once again. Gave us our nationality once again. So being returned, he put the spirit on us to repent. Seek him ten times more. This is Baruch chapter 4. Let's see. Bear with me. I'm looking for it. Let's see. Oh, yes, yeah, down at the bottom. Um, yeah. Baruch chapter 4, verse 28, and it reads. Come on now. Baruch chapter 4, verse 28, and it reads, For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Remember, we started worshiping pagan gods that weren't real. You know what I'm saying? Deities that weren't real. Sacrificing to abominable things. You know, eating abominable things. Just committing all kind of lewdness, all kind of wickedness. You know, worshiping these pagan customs like Christmas, Easter, your birthday, Hallow's Eve. Thanks killing and all that other nonsense, right? The Lord says, so be in return. I put my spirit on you to turn from all that nonsense, right? Selling drugs, doing drugs, game banging, whatever. Thotting, twerking, whatever you was doing. Mess around on your man, mess around with the next man's woman. Whatever Israel was doing, the Lord put his spirit on certain Israelites to turn back. The whole for elect, right? For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai started worshiping Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, the Hindu goddess Shiva, man, all them Kemet gods, Hotep, Seth, Geb, all that nonsense, right? So be in return. Seek him ten times more. 
So if the Lord put his spirit on you to repent and turn back, seek him 10 times more. Go hard in the paint for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Go hard in the paint for the Lord. Remember, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Go hard in the paint for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse, uh, let's see. Hebrews chapter 10. Remember, the wages of sin is death. Come on now. This phone always acting up. Bear with me, Israel. Phone freezing up. Hebrews chapter 10, we start at 30. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. See, we know him. That's why we fear him. That's why we fear the God of the Bible. Because he said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. Israel still don't get that yet, right? For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. But he's all lovey dovey, though, right? Come on now. I will recompense. I will pay back. Said the Lord. Remember the Lord of armies, the Lord of hosts. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. And you see that you see that going on now. Throughout the four corners of the earth, the Lord is truly judging Israel, man. I, I stay looking at the news. And when you go out, you see different car crashes and you see all these homeless people. That's all coming from the Lord. And we'll get that too. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. A fearful thing. When, especially when the God of the Bible controls all aspects of life. The God of the Bible controls all aspects of life and you, you don't fear. But once again, you will though. This is on Sirach 11. I'm just hitting some points. More reasons why we should fear the God, the God of the Bible. You see? Sirach chapter 11, verse um, 14, and it reads, prosperity, adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. That's every aspect of your life. That's every aspect of your life. Do, do you mean to tell me you don't fear the power that can take your sight from you? You, you don't fear that power, huh? You don't fear the power that can take your hearing away from you. You don't fear the power that can take your legs from you, right? The, the, your arms. You know. All the above. You, look, you mean to tell me you don't fear the power that can destroy you? Take that spirit, send it back up to where they at? Take that body, send it back to the, to the earth, to the grave? And in a short period of time, send your spirit right back down into another body and do it all over again. You don't fear that? Are you serious, Israel? You don't fear that? Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches. There's a whole lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, it's on the streets right about now. All that came from the Lord. It's a whole lot of people walking around right about now. That came from the Lord. A whole lot of people dead right about now. That came of the Lord. You got money in your bank account. You was able to cast a check this week. Or some money went straight to your um, a direct deposit. Some money went straight to your account. All that came from the Lord. That's why we got to thank the Lord for everything. You know, that job you got, that came from the Lord. That car you got, came from the Lord. That woman you got, came from the Lord. Them kids you got, came from the Lord. Everything came from the Lord, man. And when, and when you don't fear the God of the Bible, you how about Shem Yahweh Shai, they, they take it away from you, man. That's why I read earlier, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Look, this wisdom, can't forget that, that this wisdom that we got came from the Lord. Right? Them, them precepts that you bring out came from the Lord. These lessons that we do comes from the Lord, man. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord. See? Love and the way of good works are from him. See, the Lord can have you pushing the truth one day and have you bug the hell out the next day. Another reason why we should fear the God of the Bible. More reasons why we should fear. Yeah, how about Shimei? I was shot. And I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. I got one more scripture. Let's see. 
Um, just type that in right quick. And remember, the God of the Bible said, look, I got the angels and camp round about those that fear me. And he revealed his secrets unto those that fear him. The Lord is getting ready to rock this nation, man. He's going to rock it, man. Psalms 34. Oh, oh yeah, can't, can't forget. The, the kings of the earth, the rulers of the earth, the Lord is controlling them. More reason on why we should fear. See, the Lord can put his spirit on anybody or anything to get you, man. To get you. The Lord can put a spirit on a, on a, on a bird, man. Come down here and just peck your eyeballs out, man. Or just chase you down the street, a whole flock of them. Just have, have a whole um, squad of squirrels just chase your ass in the house, man. And sit there, sit right in front of your door, man. Wait for you to come out. This is the Lord, man. The king of terrors, right? Psalms 34, 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shemel Rashad, ye his saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. So-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, and you got the Israelites, the speckled birds that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The Lord wants us to fear. For there is no want to them that fear him. For there is no want to them that fear him. I, I quoted this earlier, but we'll get it right here. St. Luke 12, 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. We, we give you forewarning before something happened to you. That's why it says before judgment, examine yourself. You see, before the Lord actually judges us, we must examine ourselves, man. And, and the Lord is controlling all that. Your thoughts and all that is being controlled. This is a cold deal. This is, this is truly a power that we need to fear. A power to actually control your, your thoughts, controls what you do. We got to constantly pray, man. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him, which after he had killed have power to cast into hell, which is, a, which is a condition played out on earth. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. You see? Let's see. Just looking through some. I go through these all the time. Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them. Matter of fact, let's just click on it. Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Yeah. Are you not hearing that? The, yeah, how about Shemya is going to bless the Israelites that fear him? And look, and this is plain as day. Plain as day. Both small and great. He's going to bless you if you fear. Let's get a definition for fear. We'll wrap it up. Let's go. We'll play it again. Fear, and it's a noun, an unpleasant emotion. I mean, it doesn't feel good, man. An unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous. Just like when you watch them horror movies. You see Jason, you know I'm saying, chasing people down the street. You know, Michael Myers, the Chainsaw Massacre. You see how people, you see them people in the movies, and it's just a movie. But those, some of those events are actually true. But you see how scared people get when they see those entities? How much more the creator of, the, of all those entities? How much more the creator of the Jeffrey Dahmer's, the son of Sam? You see, and, thing, and, and I can't think of all of them. Ted Bundy. Just think of all those people. Well, now, and you fear them. Well, how much more the entity that actually created the power that actually created those people? How much, how much fear should we give them? How much reverence should we give them? But I ain't going to beat a dead horse. Israel's going to learn. More reasons on why we should fear the God of the Bible. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Shalom.